So I am pretty busy with uh, a lot of stuff right now, so I am I'm just I'm just gonna phone this one in. Okay, this is a hilarious joke. ICT proves once again, like literally proves that he is an actual fraud by avoiding everything that was necessary to prove that he was not being fraudulent in his uh, scenarios of supposedly trading a live account in this trading competition that he did against me, which he got he completely got obliterated by, uh, just so you know. And, of course, he makes all the excuses in the world in this video, like, oh, guys, that's why that really mean. I wasn't really trying very hard. Um, you know, it's not like I'm coming out here trying to do the Robins or anything. Mind you, let's just remind everybody that he has blown his account three times in the Robins starting in 2017. Verified. Now, he might have done 2016 as well. I didn't ask that far back because I didn't even think he would but according to zion line he may have also done 2016 but i asked joel robbins to check on him and from 2017 2018 and 2019 blew his account three times in the robbins we have tweet proof of this as well from back when he was tweeting and of course he deleted the whole thing because he would be in trouble with the cftc but go and watch this video and you see how hard he tries to avoid everything that was necessary to prove that he was not a fraud but he goes right in and basically proves that he is i'm not even gonna waste my time going into this but you guys will see a couple of things I'm going to uh, I'm going to draw this here real quick. So as you log into your TD Ameritrade, if this is your TD Ameritrade window thing. Um, he's not even on the same computer that he normally is on this because he's over there on some little laptop. You can tell even with the microphone that he's on some separate machine to run this whole little fraud that he's doing. And he's got you have two things. You can go to live or you can go to sim. OK, well, no, in this video, he avoids clicking here where you would see some kind of history or whatever. And this is where his this is his actual paper trading bullshit that he showed that I proved from that Friday on the I believe it was the 21st. Um, anyway, I can go back and look at the date. I already made the video on it. I'm not going to go back and do it. So he goes over here into the live, right? Logs into the live, but doesn't show you the history, which is necessary. Now, listen, there is a, a troll out there named Shalom Benzev. And listen, this guy is like the craziest troll on earth when it comes to me but even today he and i can agree on a couple of things look at this analytic trader you guys know this little troll right over here the 50 year old virgin shalom benzev still can at least agree with me on a couple of things let's go okay listen if ict really wants to show that he is consistently trading in a live account he should one Show his live trading in a YouTube public live stream, which that's, that's a pretty good one. You know what? I'm not even saying he's got to go out there and live stream it, although that would be the way you'd have to once because right now he's showing paper. I've already proved it. But this second part, check this out. Show the last two months of his account, cash and sweep and trade history. Now, why is he avoiding showing that right there, cash and sweep? Because you will see that he was depositing funds. He was not making that trading. He was depositing funds and then showing you guys that his account went up because he put in his own funds to show it going up. They were not trades. And yes, even analytic gets that he would have to show the cash and sweep so that you see that there were no deposits because you, if he opens it up in a live stream, in a video, you will see they are there. He deposited into this account the trade history to actually show the trades. He doesn't show that. All he shows is the account balance going up. And how do you do that? You simply deposit funds. I already proved this out. And look at this. Shalom Benzov even drew it. He's like, look, these are the two things you would have to do. And you will notice, what did ICT do? He avoided going into both of those. Same thing I said. Thank you, Shalom. You know what? Shalom, you're an all right guy. I am going to, because of this amazing work that you did, I don't even know why I'd call it amazing, but hey, you know, it's amazing for you. Um, I do find it ironic that you're like, he can count two months of his account. Bro, he's out there with me. He says Vinny has to show two years. Okay. But look, man, I, I get it. You're not a dishonest, you're, you know, a completely dishonest person. But hey, at least we can agree that ICT, if he's going to show that what he's been doing right now was legit, he would have to at least show two things. Folks, let's just reiterate it to him. Those of you guys who are actually emailing him because he's like, well, some of you guys have been inquiring, which means you guys have written some emails to him, which is good. But ask him for the two things that are necessary. He has to log in right here and he cannot show screenshots. This fucker already faked the trade history with a screenshot. We already proved it. This is why he is busted. There's nothing he can do at this point. He's completely busted. He faked it. He faked it. He faked it. And folks, I, look, if you want to keep following, it's on you. If you like CNN and listening to fake stuff and you just like to believe what you want to believe, then please, by all means, stay over there. If that's you, you want to take this as your proof and you're going to come over here and tell me this is your proof, you are a fake, you are a fraud, you are a scammer, you are probably just benefiting off of reselling and repackaging ICT content and that if your man goes down, then your entire 
uh, scamming business goes down because that's the whole concept about him saying, I am the mentor of your mentor, right? His mom, okay? I'm the mentor of your mentor. That happens because all he knows is that he's going to go out there, give a bunch of content and have other people resell stuff and then promote him so that some people will filter through and trickle to daddy and make him $150 a month while you guys blow your accounts. Now, we have had hundreds of ICT students coming our direction and I'm glad that we can save those who are intelligent enough to see through this fraud, which is not actually very hard. The only people still promoting ICT are noticed every single account that is promoting ICT is in South Africa and Nigeria. Write that down. Or they are his two sons, his uncle, and his wife. These are the people involved in this fraud network. Stay away from anything that says ICT and the made-up smart money concepts. There is somebody um, that put out a tweet. He's a buddy with Tom Dancy who is putting out a video, I believe, this evening, and I can't wait to review that. But he is also going to be going out there and exposing the whole smart money concept fraud that's going on. And this is not proof. That is what we're talking about here today. Here it is. Last time to reiterate, if anybody was not clear, what are the two things? Everybody ask yourself, pop quiz, put it down in the comments down below. Show me that you know what I just said. Two things he would have to prove, just like Shalom. Even Shalom gets it. You got to show the cash and sweep and the trade history marked out right here, folks. It cannot be any more clear than this. The guy is a fraud, a scammer, and we're done here. Have a good one. See ya.